Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's framed portrait removed from Queen's audience room. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's framed portrait has been removed from the table in Buckingham Palace's audience room it has been sitting on for more than one year, pictures show. The Queen, or a member of her staff, seems to have removed a framed portrait of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from the prominent place it was last spotted in July. A picture taken yesterday during the private meeting between Her Majesty and the High Commissioner for Grenada, Kishan Alexander Grant, shows the Queen standing in front of her guest in the audience room at Buckingham Palace. Behind them, there is a small table with a red and white lamp, a small clock and two framed pictures. The photography on the left-hand side of the lamp depicts Kate. Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William in a loving embrace. The snap on the right shows her grandsons Prince Harry and Prince William wearing their uniforms with pride. The small table is adorned with an elegant cloth, and sits right next to the fireplace used as a background of many pictures of the Queen during her audiences. Eagle-eyed observers have noticed the absence of a framed picture, smaller than the other two, of Meghan and Harry which was first spotted on display in the audience room days after the Sussex's wedding in May 2018. The photo, in which Harry is wearing a blue suit facing Meghan wearing in a figure-hugging dress, was there on July 24, when the Queen met Boris Johnson to appoint him Prime Minister. On that day, the portrait was seen positioned right in front of the Cambridge's picture. The first time it was spotted, more than one year ago. The Harry and Meghan's portrait was sitting in front of the picture of the Dukes of Cambridge and Sussex. This isn't the first time a picture is removed from a prominent place in the audience room. The photos of Meghan and Harry and the brothers took the place of a portrait of the Queen's only daughter, Princess Anne, and her husband Timothy Lawrence, both in uniform. Royal observers have noticed this detail amid blistering accusations launched by one source close to the Sussexes. The unnamed source hit out at the palace, saying the House of Windsor was ill-equipped to harness the power of Meghan and Harry who, the source said, has single-handedly modernized the monarchy. This criticism comes days after Meghan and Harry poured their heart out on an ITV documentary aired on Sunday. In Harry and Meghan, an African journey. The Sussexes spoke of their struggles and worries, with Meghan revealing she has found it difficult to adapt to her new royal role and being a mother under the relentless media scrutiny. Asked by broadcaster Tom Bradby, who has filmed three documentaries with Prince Harry, about the impact on your physical and mental health of all the pressure that you clearly feel under, she said, I would say, look, any woman, especially when they are pregnant, you are really vulnerable and so that was made really challenging. And then when you have a newborn, you know? And especially as a woman it's really, it's really a lot. Meghan also admitted not many people had checked how she was truly coping, a confession some commentators have seen as a swipe at the royal family. She continued, well, I guess, and also thank you for asking, but not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's a very real thing to be faint behind the scenes. On the other hand, Prince Harry voiced his fears of a repeat of the past saying he must protect his family from the same attacks his late mother, Princess Diana, was subjected to.